world and welcome to the Mecca of Mastery TV I am your host Mecca if it is your mission to become the greatest version of yourself in every area of life then you're in the right place I'm excited as always about this video this video is about how to give up what is hurting you we all have been in situations where things hurt us. You know, we're in a relationship that's abusive or somebody is cheating on us, but we can't let go. We're in a job where we're not appreciated. You know, we keep eating something when we know it gives us headaches and it's hurting us or it's making us fat and it's making us break out. We keep going around people and friends that just destroy us and put us down and talk down on us. We keep going places where we're unwanted, but people continue to do the things that hurt them. Along my journey, I figure out why I was doing the things that hurt me and I wanted to share it with you. See, I remember when I was in a certain relationship and I knew it wasn't good for me. He was abusive and he was cheating. Uh, but I felt as if I will never be able to get a man like this or this person of this certain caliber. This person that have this amount of money that, you know, the sex, honestly. If I'm, I'm, if I'm, Cause I'm gonna be honest, I felt that way. I felt I was around females and girls that didn't care for me. They just wanted the resources or what came along with me as a friend, but they didn't want me as a friend. Because I felt, you know, I wanted to be around these girls, these pretty girls. They look, they seem they had this type of clout. But now I realize I would never want to be around them. I know the truth now, honey. I felt as if, oh, I understand this guy. He, he he might do like me, you know? I know every time he calls me, it's just for sex. It was really hurting me because I knew every time I left him, I wasn't gonna hear from him again until he was ready for sex. And it was hurting me, but why did I keep doing it? See, we do things that hurt us because it's something that with the person or a situation is filling a need or a void that we need met. The thing is for you to figure that out. So for example, this guy that I kept going to his house or every time I knew he hit my phone up, I knew it was only about sex, but I kept going and it was hurting me. The void I was trying to get filled was attention, just to be close and connected with somebody. Even though I knew that that genuine close, that closeness wasn't genuine. I knew that the closeness that he was giving me was not genuine. It was for something else. It wasn't because he wanted just to be near me and in my company and, you know, positive, add more value. He wanted to take from me. But I kept doing what was hurting me because I was trying to fill a certain need. I had a real, real bad confidence need and insecurity need. So I hung around females that seemed, seemed more confident than me when they put on their heels and their weave and their hair and their makeup and they go around all these guys and guys wanted them and they seemed so confident and i wanted that so i hung around them just so i could feel feel that feed that attention that they got until i realized how to really build real confidence i realized that they really weren't confident they were really insecure they were more insecure than i was so sometimes we don't let go of what's hurting us because it's some need that may be that a need that's being filled or met. It's a void that's being filled or met. Or sometimes, and I found along my journey, this is why I didn't let go of, of things that was hurting me because I just didn't have any confidence in myself. I didn't have any value. I didn't know my worth. I thought this is it. I, I won't be able to live, you know, no more, no further than Cincinnati, Ohio. You know, so I might as well make the best out of it here. This is it. I'll never have a man like this again. Nobody's ever going to want me to have this, you know, amount of money. This is it. This is it. After, if I let this man go, I'm probably going to be single forever. So it's better to have somebody there that I'm taking care of or, you know, sucking my energy to have nobody at all. But that's how people feel sometimes. It's best to just keep stripping and taking off my clothes for people then to go work at a job and not see nobody have no attention, not have nobody take me out to dinner, not have nobody looking for me, not have people calling me to the stage. That's how you feel, most dancers feel. 
So sometimes it's not about the void, but sometimes it's the belief. And some, most of the time we have habits. It's psychological, psychologically something going on with inside of yourself. It's a story that you tell yourself because I was telling myself a certain story. But it's, it's not real. Once I started to tell myself a different story, I changed my belief system. I changed the way I, I viewed things and viewed myself. I stopped doing things that hurt me. I said, listen, I don't have to hang around them girls. I just have to gain, bring my confidence. I searched ways to increase confidence, looking people into their eyes, you know, speaking from your core, smiling, walking with your head up straight, with your shoulders back high, doing what you love. That's how you, that's how you, that's how you increase your confidence. So if you are out there and you're doing things that hurt you, what's the reason behind it all? That's what you need to uncover. That's the wound that needs to be healed. It's a reason behind the reason behind the reason. Do the personal development for yourself. Because sometimes it's not the fact that you keep going to this person and they're not wanting you. You're so unwanted in a certain situation. And you, it's not just, oh, no, it's just the person. It's something else. Maybe that person let you complain. Maybe they let you complain. Nobody else complains. So what? So now you need to look at why are you complaining so much? Mm. When you stop doing the things that hurt you, you evolve, you grow. But just understand that there is no comfort in the growth zone and there is no growth in the comfort zone. It will be hard, it will be challenging, but it's worth it. So do today, make it a point today to really look into what's the reason behind why you keep doing what's hurting you. Because it's a reason and work on that reason. It's just everything that we do is nothing that's an outside source that we need to bring into our life. It's something that we need to do with inside of us. So what is it that you need to do with inside of yourself? Find that out. I hope you love this video. Here at MeccaFreeman.com, we always encourage you to become the greatest version of yourself. You go out into the world, you kick a whole lot of action. Don't let anybody tell you you can't do anything, because you can. I love you all. I see you in the next episode. You share this video. Remember, sharing is caring. Until next time, peace and love. Mm-hmm. <laughs>